I'm so ready. <sighs> I've been writing these for six months. <laughs> so I am ready to read these. Today, Jake and Jenny begin this lifelong commitment, also in the presence of family and friends. They've invited each of you to be here because they care about you and because in some way, big or small, you have cared for them. Jenny, as you know, I had a really tough time finding words that do justice to what you mean to me. I'm so thankful to be marrying you today but I am more thankful to have you as my best friend with Christ as our foundation. Hi! Uh, Shh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> They're going to be pretty Good morning. Good morning. It's just a normal day. <laughs> How you normal, doing? Normal day. Lionel. Lionel Jacob wait. Stein. Today I become not only your best friend forever, but also your wife. When I was a young girl, I started a journal where I would write down prayers for my husband. And one that I found from 13-year-old Jenny read like this. Dear Lord, I pray that my husband someday is my very best friend, but not like a boyfriend, like a best friend that I could tell everything to and do everything with and know everything about. And then one day we would just like each other and be married. Funny as that letter seems and how literal that prayer became, the Lord has been so clearly writing our story long before we knew it was ours. Stop! <laughs> you know what it reminds me of? What? At the, at the uh, Lamedi house, you know when you dress up as a bride? Yeah. You like that? Oh, it's beautiful. Only half as beautiful as you. Mm. Wake up. I know, your makeup's running. You have always shown me that I am worthy of being loved and giving me grace when I fall short every day. You have encouraged and believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. You have challenged me to pursue God with my whole heart and not be content in stagnation. You remind me to lean on him in all areas of life, especially our relationship. I promise to always trust that you have our best interests at heart when we have conflicts to sit with you in the hard things and not try to fix them right away, to set aside my preferences in favor of what is most loving to you, to support you in all of your hopes and dreams for us, and to help you blossom into the woman that God is shaping you to be. I know that I will not be a perfect husband, but I promise to always look to Jesus as an example of how to love you. I want to spend the rest of my life showing you how worthy and beautiful you are. You will always be a queen in my eyes. I love you. Jacob, you are every prayer answered tenfold. Your attributes of kindness, integrity, and drive bring a uniqueness unlike most. Amidst the noise of this world, you show up, steady, unwavering, and present. You're one of the safest places I have ever known. It is with the greatest reverence and honor I commit myself to you today and proclaim these vows before God, our family, and our friends. Jacob, I promise to love you with purpose. I love you for who you are and who you will become. I promise to sow into our relationship daily and grow alongside you. I promise to pursue faith over fear. I promise to establish the gospel as our grounding and not my own feeble perspective. I promise to choose communication over comfort, authenticity over autonomy. In the moments of wandering and compromise, I promise to walk with you, pursuing holiness and wholeness. It is by the grace of God and his hand of protection in my life that I stand here today having saved myself for you. And not that purity ends, but rather it begins in a new direction. I, I promise, promise to be, be your faithful, faithful wife. wife. I promise to pursue God's goodness over my pursuit. <laughs> Good Lord, this is hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I promise to be your faithful friend when the fire burns or the embers feel cold. For richer or poor, in sickness and in health, I will be yours. Jacob, till Jesus returns or calls us home today, I commit my whole heart to you. 
Jake and Jenny, today you stand in front of God and witnesses, proclaiming not only your intent, but also making public commitments of love and faithfulness to each other. With the blessing of Christ and his church, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Jake, you may kiss your bride. It is my honor and special privilege to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jake and Jenny Stein. <laughs> 